I'm extremely excited about making the team. Obviously, you know, Luke's injury is disheartening for everyone. Um, you know, I wish him a speedy and full recovery. I had meniscus surgery in 2014. And, um, you know, so I know what he's going through right now. And uh, he's obviously a big part of this team. And uh, I'm, you know, my goal is not to come here to replace Luke Floyd. It's to be Jay Bruce and, you know, help the team just like I plan on helping the team uh, when I signed the contract to, to come here. So uh, I'm extremely grateful for the opportunity. And I look forward to, you know, continuing to uh, towards the goal of winning a World Series. A couple days ago when I opted out, you know, I thought a lot about it and talked to, you know, a lot of people that I trust. And, you know, I felt the best thing for me was to stay away from the club until the decision was made. Uh, just, you know, because trying to protect myself as far as, you know, I didn't want to get hurt doing anything. I didn't feel like there was, you know, it was diminished returns if I came and, and did, you know, just worked out and stuff. So, um, and I literally knew nothing until, um, you know, just very, very recently. So I just um set in my house and uh kind of felt like I was quarantining honestly but um yeah so a lot of nothing and then you know it all hit pretty quickly I was just waiting on the Yankees I was waiting on um you know them to let me know clearly this is you know where I've wanted to be and you know this is why I signed here so I um you know I was very hopeful the whole time like I told y'all before and um you know it, it, it worked out I feel like it's been good I feel like there's a lot of things that I need to work on and want to continue to work on but I'm confident that you know I can play a very adequate first base and you know the more practice I think I can be good over there and um you know it sounds like I'm going to get a lot more of an opportunity to to be there pretty exclusively uh you know I guess for the foreseeable future here and uh, you know I look forward to being able to focus on that and there's a lot of work to do but I'm looking forward to it it's reps. I think it's repetitions. It's work. It's, um, you know, the more you do something and the more you prepare for something, the more, uh, you know, and it, the more you prepare for something in a controlled environment, I think the more prepared you become in the game situations. So uh, I've been very fortunate that Aaron, you know, and the, the Yankees have given me a lot of, you know, looks over there and a lot of exposure over there this spring training. And that's helped. And I think just continuing to practice and continuing to kind of just drill it, drill it, drill it, you know, to where, uh, you know, the more you do something, the more comfortable you become with it. So I look forward to getting even more comfortable with it than I am right now. I played first base until I was 14 years old, pretty exclusively. And then I moved to the outfield. So I, I've taken, you know, throughout my career and throughout my life, I've taken a lot of ground balls and I would um, take ground balls when I was with the Reds to kind of work on my hands for the outfield because I think that a lot of it correlates. Um, and so, you know, throughout my career there, uh, you know, Freddie Benavides helped me a lot. Uh, and, you know, I watched Joey Votto and I talked to him a lot about it. And he's someone that's very diligent and specific with his work. And I got to watch that and kind of, you know, see how he goes about it. And, um, you know, then, you know, people with the Mets and then, you um, it's just kind of continued to evolve. And so, but I, you know, have worked here and, you know, these guys have been great for me as far as the, the work and the routine goes. And I'm still learning a lot about, you know, kind of uh, forming and, and having a, a daily routine when it comes to infield work.